what they're not telling is the full picture. They're not talking about how sanctions are responsible for that. They're not talking about how uh, they have basically worked with uh, sectors of the economy, basically the wealthy, who are the ones in charge of manufacturing a lot of the goods and who are in, in charge of um, importing some of the goods that are not produced in Venezuela that people need. And they smuggle them into Colombia and they create inflation and they create violence just the same as in Nicaragua, just the same as in the Ukraine, just the same as in uh, the Middle East where they have done this type of regime change operations. But they keep that from the public. They just tell the public that people are hungry, that people are going without basic goods, and that it's all because of socialism and it's all because of President Maduro. What we want them to do is we want them to present a, a clearer picture, a broad picture of what's happening, and to be more honest about assigning responsibility the um, independent investigator uh, uh, of human rights at the United Nations, uh, Mr. Alfred uh, Al Sayed, or Al Sayed, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing his name, uh, traveled to Venezuela and he did an in depth study of the situation and he basically put the blame on US sanctions and he likened them to a town being uh, um, in, uh, the, the siege of a town in medieval time, which was something that um, opposing armies, opposing kingdoms would do to basically starve a people into submission. And that's basically what the United States is doing in Venezuela, but we're not getting that from mainstream news media. What we're getting is that they're corrupt, that they're repressive, and that they're starving the people in order to get rich. Um, so we want them to be more honest. Uh, we think that the truth, it's key. Um, and the lack of truth is also key in order to manufacture consent for, for an illegal and immoral war. And we want the media to do what they're supposed to be doing, which is to report the truth.